Here's problem 12.6. A woman who weighs 500 newtons stands on an 8 meter long board that weighs 100 newtons. The board is supported at each end. The support force at the right end is three times the support force at the left end. How far from the right end is the woman standing? Let's uh, draw a free body diagram of the board. We actually have two support forces. We got uh, F1 over here and F2 over here. And we're told that the support force on the right end is three times the support force on the left end. So F2 is equal to three times F1. All right, we also have weight of the board, which is 100 newtons. And then we have a woman standing somewhere and she weighs 500 newtons. So let's just say that she's standing some distance x from the right support because uh, we want to find out what that x is. Okay. Um, we could we could apply either torque equilibrium or force equilibrium or both. Let's take a look at force equilibrium first. Summation of all the forces in the y direction should be zero. And what do we have? We've got F1 plus F2. And in the opposite direction, we've got um, 100 newtons and the weight of the, of the woman. So it's clear that F1 plus F2 equals 600 newtons. Of course, F2 is equal to 3F1, so we have F1 plus 3F1 equals 600 newtons, or 4 times F1 is equal to 600 newtons. So F1 is equal to 150 newtons, 600 divided by 4. And then for that matter, F2 would equal 3 times that. So that's 450 newtons. All right, now we know a little bit more information about the problem. We want to find x. Uh, let's choose, if we have a choice between A and B, let's choose B because we've defined x from B. It says how far from the right end is the woman standing. So let's choose B for our axis, in which case we eliminate force 2 from torque consideration because its line of action goes right through that point. And also, then the, uh, the woman's weight with the moment arm of X will be a positive torque, and the weight of the beam will also be a positive torque as we're trying to make, they're trying to make this thing rotate counterclockwise about point B. And the uh, torque due to force 1 will be a negative torque let's try to make this thing rotate counterclockwise about point B alright so our summation of all the torques about B is zero because it's not rotating at all and what do we have we've got X times 500 plus um, halfway through the beam is 4 meters so we're going to have 4 times 100 minus 8 meters times F1 Solve this for x, so we have 500x is equal to 8f1 minus 400. Or x is equal to 8 times 150 minus 400 divided by 500. So that would be 1200 minus 400, which would be 800 divided by 500, which would be 1.6 meters. So the distance x that we define from the right end of this beam is 1.6 meters, and that's how far the woman is standing from that end.